Arnold vs. Serge Nubre at the 1975 Mr. Olympia, where he won his sixth consecutive Olympia title and announced his retirement from professional bodybuilding, although he would later come out of retirement to compete and win the 1980 Mr. Olympia. Serge Nubre was placed second and the Incredible Hulk Lo Verigno third in the over 200 pounds category, while Franco Colombo won the under 200 pounds contest, defeating Ed Corney who was placed second, Albert Bickles third, and Frank Zane fourth. Serge mandatory poses pictures are scarce, but I've collected as many pictures as I could to present an idea about their physiques in this contest. Arnold arguably had one of the most impressive front double biceps back in the day, making use of his incredible biceps which have been widely considered among the best ever. He completely outclasses Serge who had nailed the conditioning but lacked the sheer size to match Arnold's width and density, who also had the more massive and the better conditioned thighs and calves. The side chest shows more of Serge physique than Arnold. Notice how ripped his chest, shoulders and arms are. He maintains a tight midsection, but I think that there was kinda imbalance between his powerful upper physique and weak thighs. Here is another side chest shot which shows how dense and striated Arnold's phenomenal chest was in his prime. Notice how massive his arms are and how tight his midsection is, which adds to the aesthetics of this pose. Here is a rare shot for Serge and Lo Verigno in the side chest pose, with Arnold in the back. Notice how incredibly massive Arnold's chest was, even when relaxed. This is the only picture available for Serge hitting the back double biceps in this contest, and unfortunately it does not show much of his back, but still indicates that Arnold was the most powerful in this pose. Peaky biceps, massive and ripped arms, ripped shoulders and striated traps which perfectly connected with his lats, along with his ripped lower back showing the Christmas tree. The most muscular shows masterpieces of aesthetics, symmetry and proportions. Notice the striations in their chest which reflect their superior conditioning. Although Serge was able to defeat the more huge Lo Verigno, who failed to nail his conditioning, he was still unable to outclass Arnold, who managed to perfectly combine the sheer size along with conditioning. This rare shot shows Arnold backstage hitting the vacuum pose, which has become a dream for most of today's heavyweight bodybuilders. Notice the size of his chest, shoulders and arms, yet he was able to maintain a tight midsection and show the vacuum pose, which turned nowadays into a blow to the stomach. It's fair to say that Arnold dominated the bodybuilding scene until his retirement in 1975. He definitely had the best physique which was truly unmatched back in the day. His comeback victory in 1980 however was controversial and was not as dominant as his earlier shows. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.